Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. We're looking at a beer from Atlantic Brewing Company in Bahaba, Maine. Bar Harbor, for those of you Flatlanders. Uh, serve at 55 to 60 degrees. All right, we're good. That's, um, that's where my fridge is sitting at. This is Ellen's Coffee Stout. Stout with vanilla and coffee. 5.4% ABV. Oh, there's a write-up. Didn't get this from the last uh, Atlantic brew I had. <clears throat> Ellen's Coffee Milk Stout. Oh, it's a milk stout. Didn't mention that in the front. Ellen's Coffee Milk Stout is a limited release from Atlantic Brewing Company to celebrate Maine's number one libation. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Shit. All right, here's the thing. Limited release. I'm hoping this gets out before it's too late and nobody else can get it. Um, I'll try to post it soon, but sometimes I forget. I got stuff sitting in my, uh, my edited folder from years ago. But uh, you, anybody who's familiar with this channel knows why I'm rolling my eyes at the whole Maine's number one libation part. We brew this stout using milk sugar in addition to barley malts and add fresh coffee from our local roaster, Crooked Porch. Oh, they're not even gonna, they're not gonna come right out and say it. But um, yeah, Ellen's Coffee Stout is a limited release from Atlantic Brewing Company to celebrate Maine's number one libation. They're not going to come right out and say it, but Maine's number one libation. They're talking about Allen's Coffee Brandy. My personal nemesis. I hate the fucking stuff. It's not necessarily about the, the taste, which I'm, I'm not a big fan of the taste. I don't like it. It's more about the image that Allen's Coffee Brandy puts forth. It's called liquid panty remover for a reason. It's also called fat ass in a glass because people mix it with whole milk and drink it, a lot of it. Um, Allen's Coffee Brandy and whole milk is also called the Trailer Park Mudslide because damn, there's a certain segment of the population that Allen's is very popular with. I mean, it's cheap. But anyway, say no more. Alan's Coffee Brandy, again, my personal nemesis, and I didn't even stop and think about it when I picked up Ellen's Coffee Stout, that there might be some tie-in, but it's obvious. I'm not reading too much into this. It's pretty fucking hit you over the head with an empty beer bottle, obvious that that's what they're going for. Anyway, I'm going to read it again. Ellen's Coffee Milk Stout is a... Milk, not mentioned on the front of the label, is a limited release from Atlantic Brewing Company to celebrate Maine's number one libation. We brew the stout using milk, sugar, in addition to barley malts, and fre add fresh coffee from our local roaster, Crooked Porch. Okay. At Atlantic Brewing, we respect your palate, so before we ship this beer on a pallet, we ensure that it's not overly sweet or artificially flavored. A touch of Madagascar vanilla yields a gentle sweetness and creaminess. The result is a complex yet drinkable beer as quirky as Maine itself. But I, I, I'm just blown away. I legitimately picked this up. Ellen's Coffee Stout, not even stopping and thinking about where the fuck this was going. I should have read the back of the label before I paid money for this beer. Got a nice, decent head on. I can smell roasted coffee notes from all the way back here. So that's something to be said for this beer. It is dark. That is definitely a stout. There's a little, little hint of brownishness here where some light is getting through in the thinner parts of the glass. But other than that, that is dark as midnight. I can't tell 
how effervescent it is because I can't see if there are any bubbles coming up from the bottom. But it's got a halfway decent head and it is maintaining it. I'm not seeing any bubbles joining the head from the edges of the glass and replenishing it. So again, I don't know if it's that effervescent, but it doesn't appear to be very effervescent. It's roasty. It's roasty and it's got some coffee notes to it. It's also something else just just under the coffee. It's um No, no, just roasty notes of coffee. something else there that I can't put my finger on. It's, um... I don't know. I, again, I can't place it. There is this, this other subtle aroma just underneath the roasty coffee notes that... Well, I can sit here smelling it all night, and I don't think it's going to come to me, so I'm just going to move forward. Maybe some of you folks can identify that other aroma. It's got a nice medium mouthfeel to it. it it's actually lighter in mouthfeel than it appears it would be based on the color. But it's got a smooth creaminess to it that makes it definitely a milk stout. I mean, the brewing process makes it a milk stout. But anyway, it's, it's you can tell it's a milk stout based on how smooth and creamy it is. Roasty, toasty coffee notes to it. Distinctly, it's, it's a stout. There's no, there's no hint of hoppiness. It's just got this nice malty, grainy, roasty flavor to it. I mean, I would, I would far. I'd be far happier to drink this than, you know the Allen's Coffee brandy that we all know that it's modeled after. I mean, this beer is, this beer is good, regardless of its namesake slash inspiration. The beer itself is pretty fucking good. It's a decent coffee milk stout. I'm not picking up on anything else. And that general roastiness. Again, it's got a, a lighter mouthfeel than I would have expected from a, such a dark beer and such a heavy stout, but I don't have anything bad to say about it. I'm just not picking up on anything that's really pushing it way up there. I've had other stouts with a nice creamy milk stout texture to them as well. So I'm gonna, whew, pardon. I'm gonna hit this with a three and a half out of five. It's, um, it's a good solid coffee milk stout. There's nothing really crazy or distinguishing about it. And I'm trying to be impartial because we all know how I feel about Alan's Coffee Brandy, the namesake and inspiration for this beer. There you go. Like the thir third time probably I've mentioned that. <clears throat> anyway, um, <clears throat> this particular beer is, is a, an above average coffee milk stout. 
but there's nothing distinguishing it from other good coffee milk stouts that I've had. So I'm, I'm giving it the three and a half out of five. It's not bad. It's distinctly above average. And again, I would far prefer this to the Allen's Coffee Brandy. I would drink this beer all day long. But, here we are. I've run out of things to say about it. <sighs> I really wish I'd read that later before I picked it up. And don't get me wrong, again, it's, it's an above average beer. It's a good beer. I don't regret drinking it. But I probably <laughs> would have avoided it if I'd known it was inspired by Alan's Coffee Brandy, because I hate that shit so much. <laughs> but, uh, you know, again, I'll drink this beer all day long. <sighs> Pardon. It's getting late in the evening. Anyway, that, that that's all I've got to say about it. Hit me up down below in the comments or the email link down there. I'd love to hear what you have to say about Alan's Coffee Milk Stout. As it says on the back of the label, it's not the front. Um, while you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Cheers. <laughs>